So in this video, you're gonna see a clip of us coaching a student. And before that, you're gonna see a clip of me actually approaching a girl. And I'm gonna be saying like just random words, but that's not what you should actually pay attention to in this video. What you should pay attention to is how she's responding and what she's responding to. Because what she's actually responding to is the sub communication that I'm bringing into the interaction. And if you can master focusing on this sub communication, and actually just being aware of it, first of all, uh, you can have better interactions with girls and end up getting better results. Uh, apples. What? Apples. Waterfalls. Excitement. What? Necklaces. Jury. Jury duty. Deep. Deep lake. What? Oh, my mom was one time. You seem very curious. You seem very nervous right now. I don't really talk to girls that much. You're looking at the content of that and you're saying like, oh, that's a red flag. That's uh, insecurity. But here's the underlying tone. The fact that you're able to say that confidently shows that you're not insecure. Like there's, there's another layer to what you're saying and you need to start paying attention to that layer because the, when you're focusing on the content, because you're like, oh, is this good what I'm saying? Or is this, is this not so good? Does this uh, show a red flag or does this like communicate value? But what's underneath that is by you just going up and telling, like being honest with a girl that's a very masculine trait to do that. Like that's, it's very masculine to go up to a girl when you're nervous and be like, Hey, I'm actually like kind of nervous. I don't really know how to talk to girls. What's up? Cause the girl's not paying attention to what you say as much as she's paying attention to how you feel. So if you're letting her know how you feel, and if you're like letting her know who you are, that's obviously going to create a more genuine interaction. I needed a dating coach. I, and I don't, dude, I don't fucking care. Dude. Oh, it feels pretty good when you're like nutting on the face of some chick that's like an NFL cheerleader. Like, I don't, I don't fucking care that I needed a coach to do this. Like, I don't, who cares? Like, it's not a big deal. So like accepting like, okay, this is where I'm at is like, it's a very healthy part of the process. Cause like going back to that emotional mirroring, if you don't accept yourself, at least at a very base level, like, yes, I'm here and it sucks and I'm doing things to improve. If you don't at least do that and like acknowledge that openly, then like she'll be able to tell. So you can go up and say all the right things, but if she can tell that you're like, ah, oh, well, you know, I really should be further in my career and you know, I, I need a dating coach right now because I suck with girls and I don't really like respect myself. Um, in like certain aspects, like if she can tell that, like none of the content matters. Um, so that's why I suggested whenever I sent you the feedback on your, um, on your approach is like, uh, just go up to girls and literally just get really good at saying, hi, I'm Jason. I wanted to meet you. I thought you were attractive or like something along those lines and just get really good at saying that. Cause you can get to the point where you're getting on average, like very, very good reactions from women just saying one line and just saying one thing. 